First up, we have the Sentinel, and I've always really resonated with this class, and I'm not sure why. Oh, you know what? It's probably because he's tanky and can take a hit. Shout out to my dad for helping me increase my physical resistance stat. In Sentinel, we have the Void Knight. If you play the Void Knight, you're probably a From Software gamer or love the Death Knight aesthetic from World of Warcraft. I've heard that Asmongold really resonates with the Void Knight, and that's probably because they're both black. Wait, no, the script says bald. If you play Forge Guard, you probably look something like this. If you play Paladin, you're probably a 40 or 50 something year old that's been playing Paladin since the year 2000, have one or two kids, maybe an ex-wife, or you're a support main in League. And funnily enough, 50 something year old men and support mains in League have a lot in common. Like how the way society treats those men is how 80 carries treat supports. Wait, that's a little too real. Editor, let's let's get that one out. That one's actually a little bit too me. Second, we have the Rogue, and the developers made her just hot enough so that all the Coomers have a class to main. In Rogue, we have the Blade Dancer, and if you play the Blade Dancer, you probably watch so many anime edits that you think you're the main character. If you play the Marksman, you're the type to make a million different characters in Skyrim, only to always turn it into a sneak bow build. But not because you prefer that playstyle, but because you're afraid of confrontation, have crippling anxiety, and want to deal with all your problems from a distance. Okay, if you play the Falconer, you probably prefer birds and fish over cats and dogs for pets, and need I say more? Third, we have the mage, and that's probably what most Path of Exile Andes will end up playing so they can brag about how complex or how complicated their builds are. If you play sorcerer, I mean, how vanilla can you get? Bland, boring sorcerer. If you were a spice, you'd be flower. If you were a book, you'd be two books. If you play spellblade, you're a giga chad that loves taking 24 hours to complete an eight hour campaign. Oh, but it's gonna scale so hard in the late game. Like, shut the hell up. If you play Rune Master, you probably have an inferiority complex and wanna constantly prove just how smart and intelligent you are by commenting things like, you must not have played PoE in a random YouTuber's comment section. Boom, roasted. Fourth, we have the Primalist, the core's light of classes in Last Epoch. <laughs> if you play Beastmaster, you probably also look like this. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, I had to use it twice. If you play Shaman, you probably have more than zero Robux in a Roblox account, and that is one of the best roasts I have ever thought of. God damn. If you play Druid, you probably have five minutes of free time here and there, in between changing diapers or picking up and putting away toys, or picking up the kids from school or soccer practice, and are probably totally fulfilled emotionally and spiritually from being a part of a loving family. Single men everywhere are secretly envious of you gamer dads, whether they realize it or not. Last up, we have the Acolyte, and anyone who picks this base class probably listens to Linkin Park unironically and wishes they were born in the 90s. Or, if they were born in the 90s, they're mentally stuck there. If you play Necromancer, what kind of sick freak are you? You probably put on one sock, and then that shoe, and then another sock, and then that shoe. If you don't play Necromancer, don't associate with these f***ing psychopaths, okay? If you play Reaper, you probably dye your hair different colors on a regular basis because you're not comfortable in your own skin. Wait, who wrote this? We can't say shit like this out loud. Like, At least they have hair to dye different colors. What did you just say? Huh? Wait, uh, nothing? Say that again. It was just say a that one more was just a And if you play Warlock, you're probably a new or returning player to Last Epoch, and I hope you enjoy your time with the game's long-awaited 1.0 release. I hope this video helped you pick out which class and mastery is right for you. Have a wonderful day.